Hi, this is going to be a general love reading. I guess we're going to try and pick up on the energies of this 8-8 Lionsgate portal. Today is 8-8. And what it means is that on today's date, the Lionsgate energy reaches its peak. The alignment, right? The alignment of the star Sirius with Earth and then the alignment of Orion's belt and all the specifics of those went right out of my head. <laughs> the second I pressed record, it went literally out of my head. I had it all memorized. Go Google it, okay? What the exact alignment is, but it's when they all align. <sighs> I'm a little out of breath because I just scarfed down a Impossible Burger from Burger King. Because I don't eat chicken, beef, or pork, so... You know, I was so excited when Burger King started to have the Impossible Burger. Uh, honey, I scarfed. So, anywho, this is the tea oracle deck that I've had for several weeks now. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. You have the tower. Solid foundation, success with effort. What I love about this tower card in this deck is it's not like the tower card in the traditional tarot. So, I'm going to read it from the tea leaf fortune cards book but let's just get we'll get two more older woman dealings or relationship with an older woman oh, there's an age difference dragon oh my god beware of self delusion <laughs> oh my good god tower all right, let's read the tower first, shall we? A magnificent tower rises up in front of the curist. This tower is built on a solid foundation and will last when others have fallen. This card advises you that success really comes without great effort and should always be built on a solid foundation. Success that appears overnight generally departs the same way. Really, for many of you, you guys have been feeling like you have been really on the grind for a minute. You've been really putting a lot of time and effort into whatever this is that you're trying to manifest. And you ever heard good things come to those who wait? It also reminds me of the Knight of Wands energy. You know how the Knight of Wands comes in really quickly, but it leaves really quickly? As opposed to like the Knight of Pentacles energy, which is slow as shit, but it's slowly but surely. You want to build a firm foundation, right? However long it takes. It takes time. It's organic, the seeds, right, that are planted. It's organic of how long it takes for it to grow. I think some of you are kind of worried about that. That's why, like, why is it taking so long? Because good things come to those who wait. An older woman is shown. This card indicates that you will have important dealings or relationship with an older woman during the time frame indicated. However, the symbol does not indicate whether the older woman is a friend or foe, or whether the relationship will be of a romantic, financial, or social nature. Check connecting cards to see if they reveal the nature of the older woman. I don't know, man. Came out next to the tower, which is solid foundation. This could be someone here that if it is romantic, you build a solid, solid foundation with this person. There could be an age difference in a romantic relationship, okay? Now, this could also be a business partner, okay? Take it as it resonates. Then we have the good old Draco. Draco. Draconia. The dragon. Okay. Okay. A fire-breathing dragon, all puffed up with its own self-importance, appears in front of the curist. However, the dragon looks a little nonsensical, more like a caricature of a dragon than the real thing. This symbol indicates that you should be aware of deluding yourself with regard to certain situations. You should face the truth, however painful, and act accordingly. I'm going to tell you, I feel like for some of you, you are frightened of something. Something appears to be a fire-breathing dragon, but it's not. Now, at this point in the game, we should be past delusion as far as not being able to tell when something is unrequited. 
you're blocked by them on social media they literally have told you to your face leave me alone i'm happily married i mean fuck they have a restraining order whatever it is you at this point should be able to discern oh missy he just says that but you're blocked on everything bitch are you making a new account to get in touch with him no right that's not that i feel like the dragon though might be it appears more difficult than it really is it's just what i feel this could be a person you know a person might be scarier than you think it's the appearance of them expect powerful change and that is this energy going forward from this gorgeous 8-8 Lionsgate portal. Look at how powerful that picture of, this, of the moon looks. Really, it's an eclipse, so it's the sun and the moon. And it's very symbolic because the sun is the masculine energy and the moon is feminine. And when the sun and the moon reunite, it's an eclipse. And are we talking about reuniting of a divine feminine and a divine masculine probably <gasps> a new start is coming new moon well holly fucking luya i said what i said <laughs> trust the situation is calling for you to have faith and wedding the situation involves marriage Speechless, you already know that you're my weakness. Staring at you, standing there in that dress. I was watching a couple of shows, you know, like reality shows, like on TLC and stuff, of course, yes, to the dress and what have you, about wedding dresses. And I was just like, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's not that I don't want to get married. I would love to get married. I've never been married, I've never met the person that I wanted to marry. So it's not that I don't want to get married. I would love that. It's great. It's wonderful. But I'm just like, I'll see it. I, I'll believe it when it's there. It's not that I don't believe it. You know, I, it's not that. But Because you know we believe, honey. Of all, of anything, we believe. Now we're going to go with this deck. We believe in miracles, honey. We believe in magic. I'm just joking when I say that because really, maybe I'm just not meant to be married in this life. I don't know. And I'm okay with it. It's not even like I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to fucking be horrendous here. Like I'm fucking sick on none. Like, I think I've come to a vibrational frequency where I've just, I feel good. I feel great. I'm open for love. Six of Wands, public recognition. This could be someone in the public eye. Someone that people look up to. This could also be somebody getting congratulations for a job well done. I gotta be honest, so it feels like somebody that people look up to. Because I feel like they're doing this. I don't know, maybe they're tall. That sounds ridiculous, right? But I feel like people are looking up at them. Maybe, I don't know, it's, it, it could be symbolic that they look up to them, yeah? But I feel like people look up to them. So possible public eye could be the type of work that they do. It could be in charge. It could be a leader. It could be recognized at work. Maybe they just got a promotion. Seven of Swords. Someone trying to get away with something. How dare. The emperor. Oh, his sneaky motherfucking ass. Okay, as soon as I said that, my knee got instantly itchy. The emperor, huh? Trying to get away with something. What is this emperor trying to get away with? God only knows with the emperor. He is god of war. Emperor is stoic. I mean, look at his ass. Stubborn.
stubborn. Did I mention stubborn? <sighs> He's all knowing. Am I describing myself? I might be. <laughs> I'm the emperor sometimes. <laughs> I'm talking about the emperor, like trying to talk shit about him, and I'm like, wait a second, sounds familiar. Who is that? That's me. Um, the emperor doesn't want to show his true feelings, whoever the emperor might be. It's very, and that's not the case. The king of pentacles. Um, there's competition. These are two different people. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, possibly. Could be any sign, though. <sighs> Very business savvy. This is competition for the Emperor. And the Emperor knows that's why. The Emperor's not stupid. The Emperor knows when somebody's competition I feel like and I feel like I'm singing the same song every time but it's what it is until they come fucking forward <sighs> this emperor could be not revealing their true feelings or true intentions which I think they love you let's just be honest Maybe they can't because they're in the public eye. Maybe they can't because they just feel they can. I don't know what their problem is. Now the King of Pentacles arrives on the scene. Someone stable, the ideal father figure, ideal partner. Someone who actually makes you think, oh. It's as if like before you had shit offers. Whether it's work, whether it's love, you had shit offers. And it's like finally an offer comes in and you go, oh. Ten of Pentacles, see? Oh. This is a huge offer for talking about business. It's financial abundance. For talking about a committed relationship, it would be very long term, such as marriage. Because Pentacles are long term, right? So Ten of Pentacles would mean a very long time commitment. A long term commitment. That's what this dude would offer. He would offer something unbelievably solid. Now the Emperor is like, stirring in his seat still not showing any emotion yet and i know for some people they're going to immediately jump to the fact of well fuck him remember you want to see everything from all perspectives for some people it is fuck them right we don't play with people that are just being weird manipulative and strange and odd we don't play with that shit i don't feel that that's that i feel that the emperor is stubborn i feel that the emperor is is stubborn but i feel the emperor actually has a good reason as to why they haven't stepped forward yet now the emperor is gonna have no choice now because someone else steps onto the scene with a really lucrative offer and whether we're talking this is business or whether we're talking this is in romance it's a lucrative offer it's an actual it's a real offer the empress because everybody wants her because she's the fucking empress because she's a bad bitch because she's the alpha the omega everything in between <laughs> like Nicki minaj says honey you've got four of wands on the bottom of the deck marriage and commitment someone's gonna lock her down and oh my god oh my god we've got another contender on the scene the king of fucking wands as i like to refer to as kang dang a lang because when it rains, it pours. And I feel like in this energy of the Lionsgate portal, we have been waiting a minute like this. Nothing's been happening. Nothing's happening. And then I think all of a sudden, everything happens all at one time. It's all of the seeds that were planted a long time ago. They just all bloom at the same time. And then they don't just... It's, it took a long time for the seeds to bloom, right? That slowly but surely energy with the tower. In this deck, the tower is that really solid foundation for the tea leaf oracle. But I also think that it's just this bloom is sudden. Like this something, there's, an, there's offers that come in suddenly. 
You got competition. He's got competition. And the Ace of Wands, are you kidding? This is how you're gonna know it's your person. I literally just told this to a friend this morning or today when I was talking to her about the energy. I was like, you know, we have all these options now and we're gonna know it's our person because it's gonna be the one that comes forward. And it's gonna be the one to say, I want you. I'm the best one for, for the job here because I can give you everything. Because, and, and it's not about talking shit out their mouth because to be quite honest, <coughs> shut your motherfucking mouth. I'm tired of hearing you flap your, your lips. I'm tired of hearing people promise more than they can deliver. I'm a doer. Yeah, I'm a go-getter. I'm a motherfucking hustler. I am the empress because I built my shit. Literally built it brick by brick by brick. I don't talk out of my ass. I'm all about action. And so in order to step to a motherfucker like me, you're going to have to come correct, right? And so this person's going to have to shut their mouth and they're going to have to, it's actions. And what better card to provide action than the Ace of Wands? Because wands are all about movement and action. It is an extremely passionate new beginning in either a relationship or a business venture. Feels like a dangling bell. And so it begins. Let the games begin is what I heard. Could be anyone's race. The one who comes forward and claims you that is worthy of it. The one that is worthy of everything. The one that doesn't talk out of their ass. The one where all of their actions meet their words. They're the ones. The one that makes your heart sing. Because I'm going to be honest with you. There's not only gonna be just one person in this whole entire fucking world of 7.5 billion people, that's only one person's gonna make your heart go pitter patter, make your punans throb. Okay, come on, let's be realistic. If it ain't you, it's gonna be someone else. Three of Pentacles. There's some kind of work thing here. I feel like this person works a lot. <clears throat> that could have been what the Emperor's excuse was he's really busy you don't become the emperor because you just don't do shit no he wouldn't live in his mom's basement probably not not the emperor um does not to say he hasn't once lived in his mom's basement he doesn't <laughs> the emperor oh my god oh my god you have yet another contender the king of fucking cups and underneath that was the two of cups look at that lion's energy right there with this lion's gate portal today i'm you can't make this shit up you have <sighs> well i shouldn't say you have he has competition who will it be Will it be the King of Pentacles, the King of Cups, the King of Wands? Will the King of Swords? You know, he been getting my last motherfucking nerves because he's so like cold and logical, you know? Will he come out too? But also for some of you, yeah, it's all different dangalangs. Some of you, it's the same person because the Emperor becomes the Emperor because he has been able to master all four of the king's energies right but i gotta tell you for most of you i think it is competition i was just about to say that i think for most of you it is multiple entrance five of wands landed right there honey that's competition i mean look at it it's all different dudes they're all like gonna fight who's gonna reign supreme Who's worthy of this empress? We about to find out. Oh, let the games begin. There's an age difference for some of you with that elder woman there, whether this is again, a business partner or romantic interest. <laughs> the fool. 
taking that leap of faith see that's the leap of faith yeah and there's a knight of pentacles that i felt earlier slowly but surely the leap of faith is just it's not about even who has the most money it's not even going to be about like okay the emperor's going to be the one with the empires and millions and he's going to have all these cars in a lambo and he's going to have you know he's going to wear fucking rolexes and shit it's not even about that you know who wins could be a diamond in the rough someone who is going to eventually become the emperor because he's the most brave it, it reminds me of like king arthur pulling the sword from the stone that's what it reminds me of like king arthur the sword in the stone your excalibur and it's all about who is deserving and worthy sometimes it's about having that lion's heart right being fearless being super courageous you know it's easy right as we we know i speak from experience it's easy to hide in fear like the king of swords energy does he's be, he's logical and he doesn't allow himself to to get attached emotionally and he weighs things out logically and he's very you know and that's the kind of an energy i sit in normally it's i'm a logical aquarian and i have a capricorn moon so i can be cold some of our biggest tests is opening up and becoming vulnerable it's the one who becomes vulnerable the one who who puts it out there for you the one who says hi it's me i think it's you i feel like they they might even say that you guys know that it's you thing has been huge for me since last year i did a reading last year Or was it 2018? I think it could have been 2018, actually. Yeah, it was 2018. I did a reading in 2018, and it was t it was a daily reading titled "It's You." I've done readings after that titled "It's You" because that energy keeps coming up of "It's You." I almost feel like they say that to you. They go like, "It's I I think it's you." Whether it's because they can't get you out of their head, whether it's because you make them a better person, like you inspire them in this way that you don't even know. Sometimes you inspire people that you aren't even aware of. Maybe it's because the sheer simple fact that they dreamt about it, they had a prophecy about it. They met you in this most serendipitous way and they just they can't get over it. They're just like, what the fuck? Their gut intuition tells them but it's also about them being the most brave. It's that lion heart. Isn't that really all about this, this Leo energy? And also us manifesting, walking through this 8-8 Lion's Gate portal. It's about us aligning with our destiny. Walking through this gateway or portal. Meeting up with your forever. Forever, forever, ever. Who's going to be brave? Who's going to be the fool? Doesn't have to be the richest. It doesn't have to be the most <sighs> shot calling one. It's, make no bones about it. They won't be a broke motherfucker. They would be very, very much so on their way, if not already successful. I feel they're already successful though. They take this leap of faith and they just they beat everyone too. It's how they beat them. They beat them because they, it's, it's not even that they cut the line, but it's a quantum leap. And I've been channeling quantum leaping since like 2018. Quantum leaping, it's like pulling back that arrow, right? And sh letting go like this and the arrow just shoots. This energy, whoever wins you, they quantum leap. And they quantum leap because they're, they're the fool, they're vulnerable, they open themselves up in this way. It's about, you know, People say, well, how am I going to align with the Lion's Gate energy? It's about being brave and courageous, but really it's about opening the heart chakra. Because that, that's it, everything comes to us and through us right here. Yeah, it comes out of here, comes through here. Everything is this. So you got to open this up. But what happens is we open that up, we become vulnerable. I mean, I knew that <laughs> when it rained, it poured, it was going to bring in a lot of shit. I didn't expect this much shit. 
and then the two of cups of all the decks I choose, I completely forgot, and I swear this, I completely forgot the two of cups looks like this, and I didn't expect to even get anything that was gonna be exactly lion's gatey, and to have the lion on there, it's insane. All right, let's go ahead and get a few more cards out. Tell you guys I'm just like I'm excited too you're gonna have new entrance for some of you and it's like holy shit where'd they come from it's like they're they're walking through the Lionsgate portal too and you'll have some that aren't brave enough they're not brave enough and, and then you won't meet them there oh <gasps> you have the bridge it's literally crossing the bridge. It's 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 them meeting you there. Oh my gosh. Bridging the gap. Oh, look at the breakthrough with the sun. I just did a reading on one of my Instagram live readings, XI underscore Missy underscore XI, and I called it the breakthrough you've been waiting for or something. And didn't I also just put, I think I did, oh never mind, it was on YouTube. The breakthrough you've been waiting for, some shit like that. No, 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 it wasn't. The breakthrough you've been waiting for was on live Instagram. And I put up on YouTube the reading called The Thing You Thought You Weren't Gonna Get. I think at the very last second, somebody crosses the bridge and... the and, and <sighs> Remember from last year, I was feeling somebody screaming, wait for me. Wait. Wait. Wait for me. This is the tree of life, Kabbalah. This feels really important somehow, this tree of life. See how there's this rainbow coming from it too. It also feels very much so about alignment and I also saw Metatron. And, and you guys know Archangel Metatron comes to visit sometimes and he don't say a damn thing and then he digs out again. And I felt Metatron's cube when I felt, I posted something on Instagram about the sacred geometry. Something about this energy right here. This is very much the tree of life. And I saw Kabbalah. Take it as it resonates for you. One more, please. Ooh, only the brave. Oh my gosh, the polar bear. I'm gonna need one more. Cold. 19. It's a breakthrough. I keep feeling there's a breakthrough. Yesterday on my live on Instagram, I felt that he was warming up this cold-hearted, nonchalant, very logical air sign or air sign type of person. He starts warming up. It feels like that, warming up. I'm sorry, I know I keep saying I'm done, but I feel like I, I want one more. I gotta go till I feel stop. <laughs> oh, look at that little girl, the child. There's a child waiting to come in to be physically incarnated. She could very well be a guide right now. And I felt her also, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, it was yesterday also. Feels like she is waiting to be incarnated, but, at the, but in the meantime, she is a guide. We're gonna end with, actually I lied, we're gonna do two decks and then we're gonna end. Let me do the solar, excuse me, the chakra oracle, self-expression, vocalization, individuality, inner voice, and assertiveness. You see that special love reading I just did? It was all about the call, hearing the call. Look at the bird. Bird is messengers. Hearing the call. Call to action. Hearing your voice. For some, it's the voice. They hear it and it's instantly, vice versa. You guys speak the moment you speak. For some, it's about speaking your truth and speaking your voice, being assertive, standing in your power, 
voicing your opinions. Very Joan of Arc. It's about making sure you you say what it is. Oh my God, the Ace of fucking Cups again. Stability, harmony, peace, fluidity, emotional balance. There's a rainbow again. There's something with the rainbow. I just heard pot of gold. There's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow here. However that, however that relates to you. It's a pot of gold. And you know I've been channeling the shit out of golden from back in what, 20? It was the early part of last year, between like January to March, if I'm not mistaken. And it could be off on those months where I kept feeling the golden, golden hour, which is of course that time in the sky when the sun and the moon meet for a very brief moment. Golden hour. And then I also was feeling golden boy. Golden. You have the present. Gift, treasure, revelation of own value and nowness. Walk through this fucking portal and get ready to receive. I mean, when you wish upon a star, makes no difference who you are. Only the brave though, only those with a lion's heart. Divine sensuality, making love and erotica. When it's your person, the two of you guys are not going to be able to keep your hands off of each other, okay? It'll be sexual chemistry through the motherfucking roof. It'll be static electricity. You can lie about it and pretend you guys wouldn't like each other. If you step into a room or if you're in the vicinity of anyone, all eyes will stop and fucking stare. Six of Wands is probably them looking at you guys being in love. The chemistry would be through the charts. People would be like, are you guys dating? And you'd be all, no. And they'd be all, you're fucking lying. And you'd be all, no, really, we're not. They'd be all, well, you need to get married like now. Cause it's like ridiculous like it would be oozing this sexual energy they would be highly attracted to you energy field adjustment aura cleansing and health so this is really good for some of you guys to take salt water baths sage clean your fucking house and and, and get rid of clutter right it's feng shui the shit i want you to intuitively feel things out too but also some of you are hanging on to some old shit let it go throw it out some of you guys, crystal bracelets. Do you need protection bracelets? Do you need certain crystal bracelets to help you? Some of you need to throw away your protection bracelets, even if they didn't break. Usually bracelets, crystal bracelets will break when they're done doing their job, but protection bracelets, you don't wanna keep forever even if they don't break because they will accumulate and hold on to negative energy. It's almost as if we are, and it's coming from here. See, she's doing this. Yeah? It's the heart chakra. The heart, the, the more we cleanse and release on that goal, boom, right here, we're more powerful here. Boom, it's our light. We're holding the light also. That's why we're here, right? If you're twin, twin flame, you know, I don't like that word. We're here to hold the light, star seeds. She's holding the light. Some of you, the energy field adjustment, you're feeling physically, you feel ill. I just went and had all my blood work done by my doctor. Thankfully, everything came back okay. I'm a little bit pre of a couple of things, but I'm okay. More so than anything, I need to have boundaries, energetic boundaries. That's for some of you. This Lion's Gate portal apparently is going to be bringing a lot of wonderful things, it looks like. If you let it. If you're brave enough to walk through, I think that you're going to be very surprised at what meets you there. Uh, that's how this person wins. I can feel it too. I remember a while ago, one of my friends told me that too. She was like, we were both on the same page. I think we're like messaging. See, great fortune. You can't make this up. The pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. I'm fucking telling you. There it is right there. Sudden wealth. Extreme opportunities. Luck. Luck. Everything just lining up for you. But anyways, I remember like last year, I think we were talking about some shit, like DMing. We're talking about, oh yeah, you know, the whoever wins, blah, blah, blah. And we both knew it too. It was like, it's the one that's vulnerable. It's the one that opens up. It's the one that risks everything to be with you. 
because it's easy yeah, to hide your emotions so that you don't look like a moron. I think it's really because we don't want to look like idiots. I don't shoot my shot at all, if at all, very often, if at all. Because number one, I just don't shoot my shot. Like you want me, you come in fucking get me. But also when I do shoot my shot, Oh my God, it takes everything out of me, even just to say hi. Even just to like, if I don't like you, I can say hi, hello, good afternoon. I can sing you a motherfucking tune. Bitch, I can sit right next to you. I can, it, it ain't no thing but a chicken wang. Or for me, a vegan chicken wang. Don't nobody care. I can like your picture. I can comment on it. Don't nobody care. But if I like you, I can't even look at you. Because my queen of swords inside of me is afraid that she'll get attached. And Lord knows when we get attached, right? We're vulnerable. And so it's about, that's what I'm saying. It's about being brave. And it's about saying, I've learned so many lessons. And I'm not going to be duped and, and, and get caught up in somebody or choose the wrong one or, or, or not be able to recognize a narcissist. Or what if I choose wrong? okay it's discernment we're gonna use all of our best judgment we're gonna trust our gut we're gonna use logic but we're gonna use our intuition and third eye like okay but also at the same time i have a feeling that like they're gonna come to meet you but you've got to go there too it's about two people being super brave and having this lion's heart meaning fucking courageous as shit literally opening themselves back up putting everything on the line again for love Maybe for some it's the very first time. Maybe they've never ever met a person like you in their life and they don't know what it is. They've never, they don't know what, what, what to do. I don't know what to do. I've only had superficial fake love. I don't know what to do. I've, or I've never had any love. I don't know what to do. Bitch, look at this. Cha-ching, 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 cha-ching. All right, I wanna thank you guys for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions on YouTube. And YouTube's having that commercial ad issue thing. Honey, that ain't got nothing to do with us. My settings are exactly the same. One commercial to run before every reading. If it's still anything more than that, that's on YouTube because my settings are set. So I apologize, but it is what it is. That's why I have YouTube Red. It's probably what they're trying to make you guys do. They're trying to make you guys buy YouTube Red so you don't have to do it commercials. I don't know. But anyway, thank you for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions. Follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. And if you have TikTok, follow me there. That is the same handle as my Instagram. If you want to book a reading with me, check the description box below in all of my YouTube videos. See what I offer first before you email me. And then when you do email me, put it in the title of the email so I know what to invoice you. I am going through all emails. If I have missed your email, if you have paid longer than two weeks ago, please email me again. Sometimes I just do not get your emails. They just don't come. I don't know where they go, but they just don't come. And I don't want to miss anybody. Those of you that are waiting for recorded readings, as you guys know, they take the longest. We're looking at four to six weeks, even longer for some of you. Because some people I've sat and tried to record your recorded readings and I can't, nothing comes out. And I always trust my gut. We're not going to force out a shit reading. You can go somewhere else for that, right? I don't do that. So for those that feel like you're waiting too long always message me i immediately refund you as soon as i read your email like i will skim through emails and i'll do emergencies first and also if i see anybody that asks for a refund i do those immediately because i don't want nobody waiting for their money back we all deserve to get our money back when we want our money motherfucking money back i'm just, it's always been that way okay so if you don't want to wait please re let me know if you want the refund and then those who are patiently waiting i'm working on it every day every day so i can get down that list okay Be brave. My heart's beating really fast. It's like, my heart's beating super fast. Be brave. I'm gonna pull another card. Most people probably left us already because they heard me yammering on. Be brave and be courageous. It feels really important. I feel like the payoff is huge. Improving health. That's for those of you with your chakras all aligning. For those of us that have been experiencing medical issues, it's all about healthy body, mind, and soul. See the Fibonacci swirl coming off of that Ace of Cups again. And you have, yes. I think somebody likes you. Which one though, yeah? <laughs> Bitch, we got options. Somebody does though, I can feel it. There's something better. Oh, 
shut the front so oh, I love they're saying reconsider there's something better how oh, bitch the options are gonna start coming in you it's gonna be fucking raining man hallelujah it's raining man I love you guys so much I'll see you guys later bye